hardly anybody was missed. Okay, I'm rolling. So talk to me about why you're here at the state conference, some big takeaways about what you're learning here. Well, I never miss a state conference. Um, this is an excellent opportunity for all athletic directors across the state to receive quality professional development. And over the years, it has grown tremendously. This used to be a fraternity of former football coaches who were athletic directors, and that is, is changing by the day. How, how pleased are you to see that you're not the only female as an athletic director, but now all the way up to the UIL, you see an athletic director who's a female. The landscape is changing. I think change is good. I think, uh, and, and, and state, across the state, we've embraced that. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you that the men before us are the ones that laid the groundwork. Uh, and behind every one of those men, they had usually had a pretty good female helping them. So it was probably time for females to, to branch out and move forward. Uh, but I can tell you it, it's extremely difficult. It's a difficult job for a man. It's a difficult job for a woman. Um, but, but the change has been, it, it's been growing statewide. You have dozens of coordinators and uh, coaches and educators underneath your umbrella. And if they say, tell me about the state conference and should I attend, what do you, what do you tell him or her about a recommendation to come here? They're definitely, we're, we're definitely gonna have our athletic coordinators more involved in the state conference simply because of the professional development and the quality of professional development, how, how that has changed over the years. It's a lot more meaningful, meaningful and relevant to the work that they do every day. So when you come to the state conference, there are over 100 exhibitors and everybody talks about innovation and what's new. And the Texas Coach Network is one of those uh, companies who's here. And yesterday you posted an opening at one of your high schools and within 24 hours, you've already had a few dozen leads. How is technology changing and how exciting is that for you? Technology speeds everything up. I mean, from your iPhones to your computers to emails to responses. Um, and so it helps us to gain coaches quickly uh, and fill positions much more quicker than what we did uh, back in the day. Um, so the technology is pretty impressive uh, and every time each year we come to the conference there's always new technology that's being uh, brought forth to us. So that's a great way for us to learn um, the new trending uh, ways that are coming forward. And uh, so it, it, it teaches us old folks to try to kind of branch out a little bit. But it, it, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So your uh, athletic director's manual probably wasn't ready for some of the things that Hurricane Harvey gave you last fall. Oh, absolutely not. Um, what I can say is um, all of us up and down the coast did have emergency plans, uh, preparation plans uh, for facilities. So we did prepare our facilities because we knew, according to the news, that it was going to be uh, a lot of rain. So we did prepare for that, but we had no idea. Uh, it was going to be what it was, but the, the outpour and generosity of districts around the state and really around the United States that came forward and helped our school districts um, was just, I mean, it was heartwarming, it was, it was, it was heartfelt. If there wasn't an association like this of athletic directors coming together as a fraternity, how different would, her, how different would the after effects of Hurricane Harvey have changed maybe who you can reach out to? It seems that now that you had so many people to reach out to and say, how can I help, maybe because of this association? Well, it was, you'd be like a, a person on your own island without the association and without the vendors of the association as well. Um, because many vendors reached out and helped with equipment and uniform needs for districts all up and down the, the, the coast, the Texas coast. Tell me a really good story about one of the vendors that came up and just blow your mind with something. They did. Oh, wow. Well, socks. Um, I had not thought about socks. I had thought about shirts, pants, but I had not thought about socks. And we had 18 wheelers backing up to the field house loaded with, with all types of hurricane post supplies. Uh, and then for the school district, they began to bring in, you know, some donating some uniforms and equipment and uh, shorts. But there was one truck that backed up and all it had was socks. An 18 wheeler full of socks, that's a lot of socks. So, uh, needless to say, I believe every student in HISD has a pair of socks. Clean, dry socks. 
So, and that's amazing what it does for kids to have a new pair of socks. So that was, I mean, that was pretty impressive to me. Uh, finally, uh, since you first started coming to the state conference to where it is now, how have you seen the evolution? <laughs> it's light years from what, the conference is light years from what it used to be. Um, we used to go and there was a lot of golf and there was a lot of uh, socializing and a lot more socializing and a lot more socializing, but not the meaningful trainings and, um, you know, the, 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 the sessions that we're in now. Being able to talk and talk intelligently and, and, and sober about what it is that we do, the work that we do every day, and engage in, in things that are going to help us and, and what we do. And we all have a common uh, thread amongst all of us, and, and you, have to, you have to lean on each other because there's not another job in a school district that puts in the hours that athletic directors, assistant athletic directors, and coaches put in. Um, there's, not, there's not another job, and you have to be passionate. So the great thing about this is putting all of that passion together in one room for, for the common good and, and helping each other out. So, so this is something, it's a teachable moment every day, every session at the conference for us.